My name is Erin Noon. My name is Mark Kane. Megan Roberts. My name is Samantha Truglio. My name is Grant Seitchik. My name is Rory O'Neill. My name is Jacob Turchi. My name is Stephen Heath. I'll be playing the part of Sherry. I'll be playing Bo Decker. And I'm playing Grace. Playing Ella Duckworth. And I am playing Carl the bus driver. And I am playing Dr. Gerald Lyman. And I am playing Virgil Blessing. He and I'm playing the sheriff in the bus stop. Um, Sherry's a young girl. She um, is from the Ozarks and she works at a nightclub. And she beats this guy, Bo. He really loves this girl, but he doesn't know how to really portray his love to her. And while we try, while we figure that out through the show, he's also trying to figure it out. And towards the end, you guys have to see for yourselves. Virgil Blessing is an older cowhand who uh, kind of adopts Bo at a young age. He's orphaned, his parents pass away, and takes care of Bo from a young age and realizes that Bo's coming to this sort of crossroads in his life where he has to figure out what love is for himself and Virgil's slowly but surely helping him. She is the driving force for Elma because she's sort of like an influence to her. Um, as well as uh, the almost adult figure. She's the oldest one there, uh, as well as Carl, and they have a little romance going on. He is a character who really wants to have fun, and he pretty much represents the desire that every man has to get with the woman that they want at that point in time, but they certainly don't want any kind of commitment. Um, Elma is a high school student and she's not like everybody else in her family or her town. She's really intelligent, she really loves school, and throughout the play she makes friends with Dr. Lyman who can like understand her intelligence and teaches her a lot of things. The doctor is, uh, he plays this very highly intelligent uh, former college professor um, and he, he can he, he can barely hold his teaching position at all the universities he works at due to his problems with his drinking and his no, he doesn't have any respect for authority figures and the most blatant one which is a big central issue in the show is he has an unfortunate liking for girls that are a lot younger than him. The sheriff is a, is a rather important character in the play, even though he's not on stage all the time. But he is the moral compass, and he controls and uh, keeps everything in hand when things get a bit rough. A bus stop is generally all about just the everyday struggle to find relationship in, in life and with people and loved ones, and uh, that it doesn't come easy and there's always going to be a conflict. And I think that audiences coming into the show will not get exactly what they expected, because there's so many twists and turns that happen within the show that it really throws the audience for a loop. Bus Stop shows a lot of different people's views on love and how they want to obtain love and it shows everybody's different viewpoints on it and I feel like it's important for everybody to see that. Uh, this show is a love story and it does have a good ending. To be honest, I feel like um, this should be an entertaining show and I want the audience to enjoy it, first of all. But the audience can also take away... Uh, I think that Bus Stop is about uh, relationships and love and different levels of love and different um, stages that it goes through throughout your life. To me, I think Bus Stop is kind of like looking in yourself and kind of figuring out what um, you want out of life, I guess. And I kind of hope that the audience like sees all the different relationships and what the characters are seeing um, in others and in themselves and kind of take away the message. Like,